Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Well, have you already played your April Fool's joke on someone? I don't often do this because I'm not very good at it, but I've tried it from time to time. You know who is really good at it? God. Because I think that God played the very best April Fool's joke ever. The resurrection. Here's what I mean. On Good Friday, the enemy thought that they had defeated God. The enemy saw Jesus breathe his last and let out the most demonic laugh of all time. But God just sat back and waited. Let the enemy gloat until Easter morning, when the first light of dawn cracked over the horizon and the tomb opened. And in that moment, God yelled out, April Fools! And today, today the enemy continues to try to get that joke back on God. They do it by convincing you that you have to be perfect to love the Lord, that the church is filled with nothing but faithful people who have their acts together. April Fools. The church is filled with flawed, tarnished, and far from perfect people. And yet God loves us anyway. At the end of Mark's Gospel, there is a less than satisfying ending. The women go to the tomb, meet a young man who gives them the news of Jesus' resurrection, and because they're afraid, they run away and don't say anything to anyone. Nothing. Zada. Zilch. Nothing to anyone. Now, it would seem as though the whole Christian enterprise would come to a screeching halt if that was indeed the case, if they kept their mouths shut. But I can only guess this, and the other Gospels attest to it. Jesus met them in their fear. And, as in so many other cases, reminded them, do not be afraid, because here you and I are hearing the story that apparently was never told. The resurrection does not mean that we all get fixed. The resurrection shows us that God is going to meet us right where we are, naked or afraid, poor or crushed, angry or hurt or jealous, unfaithful or doubtful. The great April Fool's joke is that God does not require our devotion to love us. God does not require our perfectness in order to be faithful to us. Instead, God promises that in Christ we are a new creation. Not a perfect creation, not a perfect community, a community of flawed people, people who get fooled and are foolish, people who goof up, flub up, mess up. If you're listening to this message and have never been to an ELCA Lutheran church, or if you've been going to church every day for 90 years, welcome to a group of people who are looking to live their best selves just like you. You're welcome among us as one who makes mistakes like we do and is far from the picture-perfect disciple. And you're welcome to take your place with the rest of us and shout April Fools at the enemy because God has the last laugh on Easter morning and you can join right in. There's a place for you because Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.